This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. Today, I'm expanding my mutant universe and I'm bringing you the farmer. All right, now before I get into the details on the farmer, let's talk about Sculpey's brand new clay that they just released. We're all familiar with this stuff. This is Super Sculpey Original, it's beige, and it's my go-to clay for pretty much every single project on this channel. Sculpey just released this in the color gray. So Super Sculpey is now available in gray, just like Super Sculpey Medium and Firm. And check out whose sculptures on the package. Pretty cool, Mr. Owl's gonna be famous. So then, to celebrate this launch, Sculpey has donated a bunch of this stuff for me to give away in this video, so stay tuned until the end of the video to learn how you can win one of these for free. Okay, now back to the farmer. The farmer is another humanoid mutant that preys on random people. He gets his name, the farmer, from the fact that the bodies of his victims magically randomly appear in the lot of this old abandoned farmhouse. One second you could be looking and it's completely empty, there's nothing there. Turn away for a second and look back and all of a sudden there's a pile of dead people in the corner. So if that's that's not enough. The farmer also possesses multi-location abilities, allowing him to kill more people at the same time from all over the world. And the only way to escape him is to get him off your tail, which is really hard and very few people have ever succeeded. And the only reason we know anything about this guy is from the very few survivors that have spoken up and that have later been killed by him for coming out and speaking about it. I'll be giving you more information on all of this later on in the video, so make sure you watch the whole thing so you don't miss any details. Now, without further ado, let's bring this guy to life. All right, we're ready to get started. I've got my holes drilled into my wooden plaque here, the size of my armature wire. Let's go ahead and shape out the legs and torso. And as always, all of the materials and tools that I use in this video are listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate links if you want to purchase anything. Now I'm going to go ahead and secure the waist with some smaller gauge wire, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Right there we go, now I'm going to attach the arms, like so, with some more smaller gauged wire. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and bulk out the torso and maybe part of the thighs with some aluminum foil, and then I'm going to cover this with some ultralight. And the reason I'm using the foil is because he's gonna be a pretty big guy and I don't wanna bulk the entire thing out with ultralight just because, I mean, it's a little cheaper to use the foil and um, it's gonna be a lot, of, it's gonna require a lot of clay and I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm just gonna play it safe and put some foil on first. Got the basic shape that I wanted. Now I'm gonna go over this with some ultralight to sort of refine that base structure a little bit more. All right, now before I add the ultralight to the foil structure, I'm going to just put some bacon bond over everything just to secure that connection a little bit more and avoid any like air bubbles and stuff like that. And I just wanna make a quick note here, RIP bacon bond, it is now called oven bake clay adhesive. So if you're looking for this now, if you're looking for bacon bond now, that's what it's called. Not sure if you guys wanna start a petition and see if you can get it, <laughs> get the name Bacon Bond back. All right, that looks pretty good there. Now I'm going to poke a hole into an inconspicuous area, probably like right there, so that all the air will escape out of that hole and not try to get out from any other way and like cause cracks or anything. So I always like to play it safe and do this. You can always plug the hole later once it's dry with some like epoxy scalp or air dry clay. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake this and then I'll be right back and we'll start adding our final layer of clay. The Farmer, a mutant in the form of a man that preys on random humans while in disguise. More on this later. He possesses multi-location abilities which allow him to strike multiple people at the same time anywhere in the world. He never kills the same way twice, and he has taken hundreds. He gets his name The Farmer from the abandoned farmhouse where his victim's bodies seem to magically appear throughout the property. He has never been caught. His existence has been confirmed only by those who have narrowly escaped him. 
just to be murdered by him later. More on the farmer later on in the video. Alright, now that the body is looking pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and start adding his clothes. In his mutant form, the farmer has the appearance of a heavyset man wearing a white tank top, blue jeans, and worn, dirty boots. He is bald, and his face is constantly fixed in an unsettling grin. More on the farmer later. Okay, now before we keep going on the farmer, let's talk a little bit about the sponsor of today's video. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you're just getting started or you're an established brand, the Squarespace commerce platform supports the way you do business. Whether you're looking to sell products directly or even bill for your services, they've got you covered. Personally, I love Squarespace for their portfolios and galleries. The portfolios are so professional and so beautifully designed that I know they're gonna show my work in its best light. And I really love the customizable galleries that I can even password protect for clients. One of my favorite Squarespace features is my ability to sync my social media content to my homepage or really any page of my website. So if all of this sounds good to you, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay and save 10% on your first website or domain. Thanks again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. All right, our guy's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in the oven and then we'll come back to his arms, his head, and then paint him up. Be right back. All right, now that he's baked and cooled down, it's time to add his arms. From prisoners to princes, no one is safe from the farmer. He is active any time of day, making him harder to catch and extremely unpredictable. Months, and in some cases years, can pass without a sighting or body. When he strikes again after a long hiatus, it is devastating. This is when his kills have the highest numbers. More on the farmer later. All right, the body looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and start the head.
great. He's baked and he's ready for paint. It turned out pretty good, can't complain. I'm excited to see what he looks like all colored up. And of course, all the paints that I'm using in this video are folk art brand matte acrylics. All right, let's get started with this guy's skin. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and darken that skin color and then we're going to water it down, create a wash, and get into all the little nooks and crannies on this guy to give it some more depth and dimension. I'll wipe the excess off with a paper towel. Give him this nice, like, sort of purple tinge. In the eyes of the farmer's victims, he appears as a person the victim would find extremely attractive. This is how he's able to lure people and get them where he wants before killing them. He's in no hurry, maybe visiting victims several times over the course of a week or even a month or two. Coming across them at a grocery store, while they're walking their dogs, or even waiting at a stoplight in traffic. He plays them, leads them on, tricks them into thinking they've met the love of their lives, or a person they so greatly admire. For example, he may appear resembling a past significant other, or a loved one who has passed away. When you trust him the most is when he strikes and reveals his true form, which is the last thing you see before you die. His twisted, cackling face and empty white eyes. In his mutant form, his movement is fluid, as if he's gliding across ice, and his personality can be mistaken as friendly. He talks fast, and can strike a conversation with anyone, about anything. Even when he's not impersonating someone special to you, he gives you a sense of comfort and warmth. Like he's your best friend you could tell anything to. It is believed this is why he's never been caught, and likely never will be. At least, until the right person comes around. To be continued. And he's done! The farmer is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments and then stay tuned for the giveaway of the brand new Super Sculpey Original in gray.
All right, now if you like free stuff and you want to win a brick of this for free, the brand new Super Sculpey Original in gray, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and fill out the Google form in the description box below. That's it, and one of these brand new, fresh, amazing bricks of gray, beautiful clay could be yours. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Good luck in the giveaway, and I will see you in the next video.